Welcome back travelers, the Genshin Impact Ignition, a name forged in flames teaser has just been unveiled, and it's already stirring excitement within the community. This marks the first teaser providing substantial information about what to anticipate from Natlon. Prior to this, fans had only glimpses of Natlon's environment, creatures, and characters. The Ignition teaser has now delivered a significant update, introducing several new characters. Beyond the characters, the teaser showcased many other intriguing elements. Join me as we explore these topics in this video. Make sure to stay tuned until the end, and don't miss the timestamps in the description for convenient navigation throughout the content. The Genshin Impact Ignition, a name forged in flames teaser unveiled the imminent introduction of numerous Natlon characters. Furthermore, credible leaks within the community have provided insights into their weapon types and the specifics of their abilities. Genshin Impact has prominently highlighted Mwalani in both Natlon teasers, revealing her captivating character design. She sports a medium female model adorned in blue attire and hair, complemented by charming accessories. Her hydro vision is noticeable in one of the videos, and she wields a catalyst as her weapon. Leaks suggest that this 5-star character will make her debut in the version 5.0 banners. Rumors about Mwalani's kit indicate that her primary damage output is dependent on her HP. Kachina is a Geo character wielding a polearm with a unique exploration ability. She has been featured in both Natlon trailers, riding a drill-shaped mount. Kachina, who uses a small female character model, might belong to the same tribe as Mwalani. It is speculated that she will be a 4-star character, potentially debuting in the version 5.0 banners. Kinnich, a new Dendro unit wielding a Claymore, is rumored to be a 5-star character set to debut in Genshin Impact 5.0 banners. Leaks suggest that his kit will allow him to fire shells, inflicting damage and excelling in burning reaction-based teams. Accompanying Kinnich is a Jaw, a mysterious creature featured alongside him in the Genshin Impact Natlon trailer. This dynamic duo is expected to be released together, adding a fresh twist to the game. Chaska, a fresh face among the Cryo characters, wields a bow with impressive skill. As one of the anticipated additions from Natlon, she made her debut in the latest official trailer, where her vision can be spotted hanging at her hip. According to recent leaks, she is expected to feature in the version 5.1 banners. Satali is an upcoming cryo character in Genshin Impact, known for wielding a catalyst. Her vision is prominently displayed on the left side of her waist. Originating from Natlon, Satali makes her debut in the game's latest trailer. With her distinctive pink hair and fiery temper, she has quickly caught the attention of fans. According to recent leaks, Satali is anticipated to appear in the version 5.3 banners. Another character making her debut in the Natlon trailer is Shilinen. Her vision, prominently displayed as a pendant around her neck, is Geo, and she skillfully wields a sword. Shilinen stands out with her elaborate character design, featuring striking makeup and numerous golden accessories. Leaks suggest she will appear as a 5-star character in the version 5.1 banners, offering a shield and various support utilities the entire team. Mavuka's character design in Genshin Impact has become a focal point of interest within the community. She stands out as a towering figure, speculated to wield a claymore based on recent leaks. Although developers have yet to provide official confirmation, numerous players speculate she could potentially be the game's next pyro archon, adding to the anticipation and discussions among fans. In the latest trailers, the Natlon character initially teased in the Tevat chapter storyline preview reappears, yet details regarding her vision or weapon type remain elusive, due to limited screen time. Community speculation suggests Sian San may wield either a pyro or electro vision, based on her distinctive character design. In the Natlon trailer, an intriguing scene unfolds as Ororan stands alongside the Ftui Harbinger Capitano. Recent leaks suggest Ororan will be portrayed as a tall male figure, poised to make his debut in the upcoming 5.2 version banners as a highly anticipated 5-star playable character. 
Following the teaser's release, much of the community buzzed about Mavuka's prominent role. Throughout the teaser, she sees the spotlight by initiating the tournament, questioning Capitano's courage, and engaging in a captivating dialogue with six fire wisps. Many fans are speculating that Mavuka could be the Pyro Archon, a theory supported by several compelling clues. Notably, she is the sole character to converse directly with Capitano, possesses distinctive pupils akin to Archons from other nations, and demonstrates significant authority over the crucial Natlon tournament. Her intriguing interaction with the Fire Wisps further suggests she holds considerable power, hinting at a potentially pivotal role in the overarching narrative. The presence of a jaw in the Genshin Impact Ignition teaser remains an intriguing enigma. Unlike the beautifully designed characters with unique appearances, a jaw stood out as a pixelated entity accompanying Kinich. This distinctiveness immediately sets a jaw apart from the others. The nature of a jaw is still unknown. It might be Kinich's companion or something entirely different. The self proclaimed title, Almighty Dragon Lord, hints at a deeper, possibly significant, backstory for a jaw. The latest Genshin Impact teaser provided players with a deeper look into the diverse landscape of Natlon. Before this, we glimpsed vibrant green forests, rugged desert hills, and pristine water bodies. Now, the teaser introduces us to various settlements and a central hub nestled within valleys, which serves as the venue for the crucial tournament. In the teaser, a captivating scene unfolded with a tournament underway in Natlon, where a ball was energetically passed between various characters, signaling the imminent start of the competition. Shilinan's remark, is at that time of the year again, hinted at the tournament being an annual tradition in Natlon. Mavuka challenged the Ftui Harbinger Capitano, questioning his courage to participate. She also intriguingly declared that the tournament's victor would claim everything. This enigmatic event promises to be a significant storyline in the upcoming Natlon Archon quests. The teaser strongly hints at Capitano's presence in Natlon. Though his exact role in the Archon quest remains ambiguous, it's possible he might be linked to the tournament, as Mavuka cast doubt on his eagerness to compete. With the tournament's high stakes, where the victor claims everything, Capitano might find this particularly enticing. What is certain, however, is that one of Genshin Impact's most anticipated characters is finally poised to debut in Natlon. A noteworthy detail that might have slipped past some viewers is the presence of the new character, Ororan, alongside Capitano. Ororan appears to be a character from Natlon, hinting at a possible internal conflict between the Ftui and the nation of Natlon. This internal strife might have driven Ororan to ally with Capitano for reasons yet to be revealed. Here are the seven key revelations unveiled in the Genshin Impact Ignition teaser, a name forged in flames. Thanks for tuning in, and keep an eye out for further updates.